Namaste beautiful yogis. I will quickly show you how to check for diastasis recti. There is a bunch of tutorials online but I want to show you my take on it. You will come down onto the floor and you will bring your feet as if you're going to be doing a crunch and you will um, activate your mula bandha and you will check with your mula bandha activated which is your kegel muscles. After that you will use a few classes in the program that explain how to activate your TVA which will in essence lift the belly button in and up, cinch you in a little bit in the waist and activate the muscles that you can feel just by your hip bones, this, this bands here and then you will check again and after that you will check without contracting any of uh, the previous two things I mentioned and you will see the difference. Now, if you have a separation when uh, you're uh, contracting your mola banda, that's your true value for um, up separation. If you have no separation when you're contracting your TVA, you're in good hands because you're able to activate those muscles and you're able to um, have healthy connective tissue because if you're activating the muscles and the connective tissue is shrinking in, then uh, you're in good hands, you can, you can do a little more, uh, you can progress fast. If um, you can bring them together, you're still in good hands, you just have to do the program for a little longer so your muscles get stronger over time, they could be very weakened and your connective tissue could be very stretched, have a lot of vitamin C and uh, keep working with the program and you will see progress. Um, and then you can uh, obviously check without contracting anything just to see where your stent eventually you should have very little separation without contracting but if your mola banda is engaged and you have very little separation to know then you're good you're in a good position hey mama hey mm.